Hello, my name is Focus, Zanzibar, Pepper, Monar. No, no, no! But my parents call me just Monarch. And these are my parents. They say I'm a traveler. We are always changing place. New smells, new cats, new air, new territory to explore. But in a strange way, we are always in the same place, on the sailing vessel Perseus. They say I am a sailor and I have responsibilities in the crew. I am guarding Perseus. The truth is that I just love to hear my echoes bark and I don't really understand why the people are putting distance when they hear it. They say I'm a small kid, too playful. Even though I'm old, I always enjoy green toy. relationship with toys. I like them so much that three times I had big surgeries to get them out of my body. It was not so nice, but I became stronger. The best part of living on the boat is the good sleep. Oh, I love to be at the countryside. This entire yard is just mine. And this field. And this river. And this other river. They say I need space for running. Space to feel free. Now I see the sea all the time. Here I have the beach. But I'm familiar with the beach. Once we were going every summer in a wild place, the only place where I could bark and play as much as I wanted. Now I have the harbors. And they are my favorite playground, especially when I need to help my mother to move. I know that when I was younger, I had no limits, but now it's harder and harder. Anyway, I don't give up. I learned my new limits of distance, time, speed. They say I am pretty, so pretty that I won a beauty competition. I practiced a lot for that with my parents. Deep down, I know we did it just to play more together. They say I'm too stubborn, I always get what I want, and I never give up. They say I'm too curious. I want to discover new things. <laughs> they say I have too many needs and requests. 
They say I need too much love, always asking for treats. <laughs> If he starts vomiting, you can start with. Uh, you can also give him that. <laughs> this is when you see him be in pain. <laughs> Buy the antibiotics from a human pharmacy. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but we want for him to have a good life as long as you can. If I could speak, I would have told them months earlier that I'm tired, that I'm in pain. If I could speak, I would tell them that I didn't really need space to run. I needed just them, close to me. If I could speak, I would tell them that I am everything they are. That I just ask for what they are asking for. That I just need what they need. That I am who they are, or who they had to be, who I taught them to be. If I could speak, I would tell them never forget to be like me. If I could speak, I would tell them not to suffer. I will never get out of their hearts. I'm not actually leaving, even though I am. If I could speak, I would tell them that I did my best. I did my part. I know that I won't be here any longer, but I let them my toys. Oh, if I could speak.